and this is Wayne L. Morris Free Speech Plaza, and I saw people enact their rights of freedom of expression and freedom of thought today, and I'm actually very happy that that has happened. I was a part of this today, and I'm happy that finally we can see that the people have the power. What are the police going to do? What are they going to do? Cite us for civil disobedience? That's okay. That's another slap on the wrist. I mean, today, people got to voice themselves, and I think that's all we need to do as a people, as a whole. Not only as a nation, but as a world, we have to come together and use our voices and our actions to show people that we will not take mistreatment kindly. Free speech is one of my imputable rights as an American citizen, but I would say also as a human. I mean, I, I am a child of the earth not a child of some corporation we call the American government. I mean, my name can be used in any amount of space that they want to, but me, if I can keep myself as a person and my freedom intact, I will be happy. I mean, really? It's like, what's wrong with this space? I don't see anybody dying. I don't see anybody retching. I mean, I see people having fun hacky stacking and it being in the drum circle. I mean, this is what life is about, is being free, and these people have shown that to me today. Do you come to the Saturday market regularly? Um, yes, I, I've, I'm here every day from 9 to 10 a.m., and that's, my, that's what I do, and I sit here until the end of market, and then I go on with my day. I mean, I love this place. This is where I can bond with the community. So you're looking at this plaza, does it look any different than any other Saturday you've ever been here? No, except for, except for these fences that people might trip on, you know? But other than that, you know, no, I just see people and stuff. So tell me more about what you think about their claim to this being a health hazard and that's why they closed this thing. I mean, I don't think this is a health hazard. I mean, we were still here during the protest setting up. The protest moved over and they let us set up. Nobody had a problem with it. But until the city had a big problem with it, it was fine. But when they were starting to say, oh, well, we can't have this here, and there's feces everywhere, da 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 it's like, no, actually, there was no feces in this area at all. Feces was found across the street next to the actual Saturday market booth. And guess who's actually supposed to be setting up today? The Saturday market. See, the people have no rights, apparently, so we can't set up here because it's a health hazard. It's like, I'm sorry, but you're, they're selling food over there, and there was feces and piss over there. <laughs> that's, that's a little disgusting. And what do you think? They don't let bathrooms be available down here. I mean, do you think that the problem would be solved more by giving people bathrooms? Yeah, it, it, like, if they would, if they would have more restrooms for the public instead of closing them off at certain times or having a limited amount to a small area not spread out people are gonna have to go when they have to go you know you can't really stop it it's a force of habit in its nature